Hey, Brett! Hey, it's a general! Get those rifles out of the dirt! Put your helmets back on! What's the matter with you, men? Somebody must have told you about keeping your rifles off the ground. Where are your officers and non-coms? We don't know, sir. I was an acting corporal once, sir. You're in charge here, as of now. Me? Where's your battalion headquarters? Well, overrun by panzers, sir. I don't think anyone got out. Tanks? How many? I just saw two, sir. There's supposed to be a lot more around. Some guy got one with a bazooka, General, and then they pulled out. But well, we expect them back any time. Has anyone been in touch with the regimental headquarters? Well, some guys started for the rear about an hour ago, sir, but they came right back. Said they were pretty sure we're in a pocket. They ran into Germans no matter which way they went. I want you to send out some runners. Have them find out how many men in fighting condition we have left and what they still have to fight with. Oh, yes, sir. Have them round up any and all radio equipment they can find, even if it's shot up. Maybe we can scrounge enough parts to get one set operating. What's that over there? That's just a farmhouse, sir. Jerry's used the house as a command post, sir, until we ran them out. If your runners come across any officers and non-coms, have them report to me at that farmhouse. And tell everyone that's headquarters from now on. Yes, sir. You mean we're going to try and hold them, sir? Unless I've been getting the wrong information. That's the business this army's in, son. Now, let's get at it. Yes, sir. All right, you heard what the man said. I want four volunteers. Let me see now. All right, you two take that side. You two come with me. Get him. Well, at least it is encouraging, sir, to know that ours isn't the only outfit that can get completely fouled up. Let me look the place over, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 